Hello, hello, happy, happy Friday. Let's talk rocks. Oh my goodness, I'm jumping on today because it's a big day for my son. He is getting ready to do a state presentation or a presentation at the state level competing for DECA. And he knows what it's like to live with a mom who's tuned into her unseen resources. And he questioned before he left, he said, all right, I need something to help me stay calm and focused to lose the jittery nerves before I go and make my presentation and compete what can I do? What can I use? How can I really find that zone of genius and get into it? So that's why I'm jumping on today because I want to share with you what I shared with him. It also came up with another one of my clients today. Hello, Tammy. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> so I'm talking rocks, crystals. <laughs> I like to call them rocks every now and then because it takes some of the mystery out of it. Sometimes it seems a little bit out there, but when it comes down to it, we're just talking about our favorite rocks that we pick up along the way. And maybe even as a child, you found that you visited a particular vacation spot and you discovered a rock that really called to you and you just wanted to connect to it. Something about particular rocks or crystals that draw us to them. And Tammy, I'm glad you love rocks. I wanted to give us all an opportunity to talk about it and see because also like my son, when he said, what can I do today to help me feel really calm and focused and present for this competition. I knew a crystal was a right answer for him. He could have it right in his pocket, reach out for it, hold on to it when the time was right, just to remind him. And I was, and that's the neat thing about the rocks or the crystals, they come in different shapes. So the one that I gave him was shaped kind of like, oh, here I am, like this, like a worry stone. So he can have it just in his pocket and kind of rub it. No one has to know, it just reminds him. Hello, Renee, welcome. So I'm gonna go ahead and I know Tammy said that she has some rocks she wanted to share with me. I'm gonna see if I can pull her up live and join in the fun. Ooh, as I'm, hmm, this is a different way. Well, maybe if I can pull her up live, I will. But if I can't, hello, Renee. I'm doing my phone sideways this time so I can have my fun friends. And Renee has rocks too. Wonderful. This is always interesting, the sideways version. Okay, well, it doesn't look like it's letting me pe pull up people live from here. So if you have a comment about a crystal you have, take a snapshot, leave it in the comments so that I can come back and give you answers. But for now, I wanna share with you because I know that Tammy has, as well as Renee, because they had had questions for me, all about the quartz crystal. They have quartz crystal and they also have selenite. So I wanna start with the beautiful selenite tower. Have you guys seen selenite before? It's this beautiful opaque colored stone or crystal and it's fantastic for clearing the bad vibes. It's wonderful to have in your bedroom if you wanna protect yourself against nightmares. Oh good, Tammy, you're gonna take a picture of your quartz and post it, please do. This particular crystal, the selenite, is wonderful, wonderful to have on your windowsills to act as a wonderful protector or, you know, just to help clear out from the week's energy, get rid of the bad vibes, and help you focus in on the day. Now, big presentations. If you've got something coming up, uh, I know Tammy has a really incredible workshop she's teaching next week. And like my son this weekend with his presentation as competition, the Jasper is fantastic. And the Jasper, this little heart is a red Jasper. It gives you wonderful confidence and protection. So if you feel like, oh, I'm competing against all of these people and I wanna stay in my lane and focused on what I'm doing, <laughs> this is a nice one to have. And it's shaped in the wonderful shape of a little heart. And this just really connects you to the heart, the courage of your convictions. You know, why is it that you're doing what you do? Are you doing it just to do it, to check off another item on the to-do list? Or is it something you're really passionate about because you know it makes makes a difference. And Renee, thanks for all those wonderful hearts. I love them. The quartz crystal is fabulous for amplifying. So if there's something that you really want to magnify and draw into your life, you can do fun things like write down your wish on a piece of paper, right? Your heart's desire. Like maybe you want to magnify a fun vacation or adventure and you decide, okay, I want to 
go to the mountains and I want to be able to rest and relax, but I have all this stuff on my plate right now. So what I'm going to do is you're going to write down that heart's desire to go to the mountains, to relax, rejuvenate, and you put your beautiful little quartz crystal on top. And if it's in the shape of a wonderful, wonderful pointer, and this is a little citrine quartz point, point, point. You can place it on that piece of paper, the intention, and it amplifies. And that's something about the crystals that I want to address just really fast. And I know we don't have a lot of time here. Oh, Renee, wonderful. Oh, you have two of those going to the mountains. I know. I love being in the mountains around even more rocks. <laughs> it's a wonderful way to relax. But... When I'm here and I'm sharing this, I'm giving you just the tip tip of the iceberg because we really only have a few minutes being busy and at the end of the week, this is the kind of thing that I really go into great detail in my Intuitive Energy Adventure program. It's a place where I teach you how to use all of these tools and how to apply them in your life so that when you're trying to make decisions better and faster, you're not stopping and questioning, which way do I go? Do I go left? Do I go right? Do I quit my full-time job and pour all my energy into my side time hustle. No, you you take that moment to pause and tune into the intuitive guidance instead of acting out of fear. And crystals are one of the many tools you can use to help you on that. One fun thing that I wanna just highlight to you really quickly because the shapes of the crystals are important, the way you place them, the way you clear them, the way you set an intention, all of these things really bring power to the tool because it's important to remember the crystal itself, the tool is not holding the power you are and you're setting your intention to use the tool or to tune into the frequency of the tool to create your experience. So just as a quick aside, because this is a fun one, there is such a thing as a little bowl of abundance or manifestation. And this is my little bowl of abundance and I've got my little words that I wrote down. I've got my money, I've got my feather that I put into it. It's in a pretty green bowl. I use the wonderful jade stone of a jade bracelet. It represents abundance and the amethyst to tune in to my divine guidance. And I have a wonderful tiger's eye in here for protection to help stay convicted with my, like the courage of my convictions basically, right? That courage to stay on the path. And then also in here, this beautiful stone of Dermorterite. This one helps you remember. Oh, Amethyst is your birthstone, Tammy. Oh, that's wonderful. It's such a very spiritual stone. Great for opening up the third eye for that wonderful ability to visualize and to connect to your clairvoyance. And there's all sorts of things in here. The citrine and there's, oh, and the pyrite. This is another good stone of abundance. Citrine as well. They all connect to the third chakra, the upper belly. These kinds of things, the crystals are nice tools to incorporate into your everyday actions to help remind you, right? Because the peace that we're looking for, the joyfulness, that ananda, the abundance, it really is truly all within us. Sometimes we just forget how to get there and we need a little help along the way. Maybe it's a teacher or a guide who reminds us. Maybe it's a wonderful crystal that helps us tune back into the frequency that we want to get into. Or maybe it's just simply connecting with a friend and a group, a community that reminds you of who you are. So I'll end this this little adventure with this wonderful story of Hanuman. And if you haven't heard the story of Hanuman, just kind of the quick, quick, short version of this wonderful, wonderful being who is so full of love and generosity is the fact that when he was a tiny little one, he was rambunctious and mischievous like we all were when we were tiny, but he got to the point where he angered so many people that they said, all right, we gotta do something about this. This little monkey who has all these amazing superpowers is wreaking havoc, so we're gonna make him forget all of his gifts, all of his superpowers. And the only way he'll be able to remember his amazing ability to leap thousands of miles and yards over oceans, the only way he'll be able to remember that he's got the super strength power of the Hulk and more is if the community reflects it 
back to him. If he's around his friends and his friends become believing eyes saying, you know what? You are so incredible. You really saved me the other day. You helped me when I just needed to be heard and I needed someone there. So that's the power of community coming together. And when we're learning these tools, when we're on this journey, this is why I've created my intuitive energy adventure program because it is lonely to walk it alone. And you know what? We're all like Hanuman. We all forget our gifts. And to be able to have the remembrance and reminder from friends, from community, is unlike anything else. So join me, join me. I'm opening up, I'm reopening my intuitive energy adventure. Um, it's just a very, it's a moment essentially where I was inspired to do this. I have two spots available and for anybody who jumps in today, there's a bonus live coaching class that happens tomorrow morning that I'm gonna add in for you. But it really comes down to listening to your intuition, acting when the spirit moves you because I obviously just wasn't super prepared for this and I jumped on and one of the neat things before I jumped on that I absolutely loved and I know I was running around up and down quite frequently just to try to get this camera set up as I saw this amazing set of twinkles, <laughs> right? Just like glitter in the air. And to me, that's a sign that, you know what? We're not always perfectly ready. You know, no makeup, I did throw on lipstick, hair all over, <laughs> um, you know, wearing my fleece. But when we show up, not waiting for that moment for everything to be perfect, magic happens. We meet people, we're there for the door when it opens, rather than waiting until all of the ducks are in the row to act. Because if we keep waiting, you know what? The train's gonna leave the station. And we'll say, oh, well then another train will be around. Yeah, but it might not have those comfy seats. <laughs> it might have the hard ones, it might be tiny. So I invite you, um, this train will be leaving the station Monday the cart closes and if you jump in today, you'll be able to join the live class tomorrow. I'd love to have you. It is my joy to share these tools and I threw out a lot out at you at once. Um, the crystals are really powerful and they really just help connect you to your heart and the peace there. Remembering essentially that the power is always within you. All right, thanks for joining me today. If you have a favorite crystal, drop it in the comments, either the name or the picture, and I'd love to share more with you. Have an incredible, incredible day. Thank you for joining me, and I have a special class that I'm gonna be doing. Well, it's not even a class. I'm gonna be doing a reading tonight, and if you would like a reading, ah, and you stayed with me all the way to the end of this long video, Drop in the comments below reading, and I'm gonna be jumping on this evening at 7 p.m. right here on this page, uh, and I'll be giving free readings to a few people, those lucky few who get a time slot. And if you're in my group, you'll have a chance to choose your time slot, The Energy Adventures with Irina. Okay, so, all right, Tammy, I see you're going for the reading. Oh, and Renee, too, awesome. I will put the link in here definitely for my intuitive energy adventure. And I look forward to those two who are going to take the jump today, jump on that train and join me for this intuitive energy adventure. Thank you so much for being here. Lots of love to you all. Bye. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs>